So today is April 23rd. And I think we had a record low last night. And I think the day before too. I'm gonna have to look that up. It's pretty crazy. Getting down to freezing temperatures. It's not exactly easy holding the GoPro. It's not ideal. But I do have a new handle mark mount coming. Should be here today. And that'll free my hands up again. There are some advantages to holding it. You know? really control the the shot it is steadier but that it's not really a problem i'm really impressed by the hyper smooth that this has and then the max lens only improves that too so that's really good actually because i did have a gopro 5 well i still have it but this is just leaps and bounds better which has been very impressive so far. So one topic I guess I'd like to talk about is the idea of minimalism. I've been trying to implement it in my life. And it seems like one of those topics I guess that people get way too into they're passionate about and they go on and on and on but that could be a good thing you know if something's impacting somebody's life to where they kind of want to spread it and share about it um I don't feel quite like that I see it as like a tool to help improve but not a well I guess it kind of is a lifestyle of sorts but not one that I derive my identity from because I'm definitely not as hardcore as some of the people that I've watched videos on and, you know got, got there perspective because I think it's unhealthy to push it to the point and it's not unhealthy let me rephrase that I think it's mentally unhealthy to push anything to the point where you derive your satisfaction your joy your identity from some sort of concept or thing like that. All right, so how I view minimalism is not having less of things, but making room for what is important. And I guess that's a pretty agreed upon definition of sorts. I think that most people that are unfamiliar with minimalism I think that it's just about living like a stoic life or a just not having anything. And that's not the point. 